Well, good day, ladies. Today we're gonna to show you the running bond in brickwork. If you remember, any pattern in a wall is called a structural bond and they all have particular names depending on the design. The one we're doing today is called a running bond. It's sometimes called a stretcher bond because the only brick position we're using is a stretcher. If you remember our position, we had the stretcher, header, roll lock, soldier, sailor, and this is called shiner, sometimes called a bull stretcher, which is very similar to that. You see it a couple ways, but today we're only working in stretchers. And on our first course of bricks, which is any horizontal row, we're gonna lay out five for our first course. Now, if you notice, I left a space in here between each one, that's for the mortar joint. When we talk about the sizes of bricks, this is known as a three by eight brick, three inches high, eight inches long, but that three inches actually includes the mortar joint up here in the air. So to be eight inches long is all the way to the other side of this brick. And most bricks are designed for somewhere between a three eighths to a five eighths mortar joint. Now each manufacturer makes them just a little different. So you gotta know what you're working with to make them consistent. And this is our first course with five bricks. We're gonna lay in a second course of four bricks. And I'm gonna, with the second course, the bricks are going to cross the center line of this brick is gonna be center of this mortar joint. Or as close as I can get it. We're going to have four bricks in our second course. If you notice again, the center of this brick is over the center of that mortar joint. It makes the bond a whole lot stronger. Now we're going to start laying out our third course. And the ones on the end may flop around a minute till I get another course on top of it. And you're starting to see that the first course and the third course line up with each other. Remember this joint here that's vertical? This is called a head joint. The joints here that are horizontal are called bed joints. It's just like the head of a bed and the foot of a bed. All right, we're gonna lay in our last course and we'll start balancing this out a little bit. And you should notice a few things. First course, third course, every alternating one, they should line up. Now you could tell that on good brickwork, you, could, you can watch these head joints go up a wall. So I've got my head joints and my bed joints in a second and a fourth. Their head joints should line up and they always cross in the center, the center line of this brick, the center line of, of the uh, mortar joint down below it. This is the running bond, four courses high and start with five bricks on your bottom course.